Hello everyone, my name is Krikor and uh, this is my testimony for how God reached out to me. I'm gonna say maybe it was 1980s. I was about maybe 13 and I was actually riding my bicycle 10 speed. It was a green bicycle and it was an Italian made. It was called Botticia. See, I, I don't forget it, it's like yesterday. And it was late at night actually, and I know my mother was angry at me. It was like 11-ish, and I was coming home, and I was actually looking at the stars, and the stars always attracted me because the night sky is so beautiful. And suddenly I wondered what would happen when I die. Do I disappear into infinity, being non-existent anymore, or actually there is somewhere to go? Because I still remember that day until today as if it was yesterday. I remember that was God who was fishing me. That was the hook, the beauty of the sky. And the distance, how far it is, the infinity. Thinking about space and the, the grandeur, like the, the, the awe of the universe and the stars. And that what started to get me started like questions popping up into my mind so every time I would see a religious person I would go to them and ask religious questions and when these religious people would not answer me mathematical answers to my, to my questions had the reverse effects also and it would solidify my atheist side that says ah you see no God doesn't exist look at this guy they're like ten times older than you and they they can't answer your questions and it would give this arrogance into me and this went on for a long time but the question was always there I'm gonna say at the end God brought people in front of me at work the Q&A would non-stop but nobody satisfied me it would just solidify my arrogance so I decided to buy a Bible a book on Gandhi a book on Einstein try to figure things out for myself again no answers I could prove God exists I could prove God doesn't exist it's still like I have no answers I still don't know where I'm gonna end up after death so at night I decided to pray and and basically I asked God I go listen I go if you're really there and if that day comes that I die and I close my eyes over here and I open it in front of you and you tell me you're going to hell because you never accepted me you never believed in me. And I actually said this. I'm going to hold you responsible because you did not show me. The miracle happened the next morning. Drove my car. My question would come to my mind and the answer. And I said, well, what, what just happened? I go, all these years. I didn't know the answer. Like, how come I, I was getting all these answers right now? And I would do different scenarios. And I would say, no, this is the answer. It was so powerful that at the end I said, okay, I'm done. I believe you're there. I'm satisfied. I'm no longer hungry. Until today, I'm at that point. I'm on the rock. Unmovable. There's nobody that could shake me. I know he called me that day when I was looking at the stars. Whenever I read the Bible, I study his word. The love is mind-boggling. You see, those questions that I used to ask to people that they could not answer, it was all in the Bible. I started seeing the answer, like, oh man, I go, I, I flew over it, it was right there. You know, like most people believe, I used to be one of them, that the Bible is like a fairy tale, nothing factual, nothing mathematical. Uh, it's all about uh, don't do this, don't do that, as if God is trying to take my happiness away. But now I see everything is on the other way. It's God wants to give me. And I asked in the church, I go, God is invisible, we don't hear Him, we don't feel Him, we don't smell Him, we can't touch Him. I go, how do you love a person like that? But now I do see His beauty. God did not bring you into this world, did not give you life, and throw you in the street and forgot about you. There is a written guarantee, written guarantee in this Bible, many verses, that says, knock, and the door will be open. Seek, Seek you will find. And the Bible says, you being evil, being bad, and you know how to give good things to your children. 
how much more your Heavenly Father, if you ask Him, wouldn't He give you the Holy Spirit? Meaning that wouldn't He give you Himself? Forget about asking for money, gold, and I don't know what. The owner of the universe is going to give you, not the universe, Master Himself. Absolutely. But He so, already did. He correct. Did. He did correct. So now at this point I'm talking to a non-believer and, and I'm just telling him that it's a written guarantee that you will find Him. One verse that comes to my mind, Jesus says, a slave does not know the mind of his master. Mm. But he goes, I have told you God's word or God's mind, and now I call you friends. I could testify that every time I pass through very, very bad times, that earlier I was saying, <laughs> like four times, I, I passed through very bad times, I couldn't survive without God. I couldn't have. What would you say is your favorite Bible verse and why? For me, this verse basically encompasses the whole Bible about us and God's intention and it's Jude verse 24 and 25 now unto him that is able to keep you from falling this is us sinners which are falling and Jesus is keeping us from falling and to present you faultless this is Jesus's blood before the presence of his glory in front of God with exceeding joy Look at the love. God's will, Jesus' will, is to present you, first from keeping you from falling, then to present you faultless with exceeding joy in front of God. This verse is incredible. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. This Amen. verse is amazing for me.